Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to make a character to enter the car, drive it around and exit the car. We will quickly create this project from the script, so you can follow the steps and understand better how it's done. First of all, we need to import cross-platform input package to our project. Go to Assets menu section, Import package and select cross-platform input item. Hit Import button. Now we have it imported. Next, we need to add a couple of new layers for the cat and for the car. We need them to disable collisions between car and cat later. Select any object in hierarchy, hit layer drop down menu and create cat and car layers here. That's it. Now let's disable collisions between these two layers. Go to edit menu section, project settings, physics 2D. Here in collision matrix we need to uncheck cat and car field. Like that. Now let's add some game objects to our scene. First one is a background. Here it is. Add a box collider to the component to it and edit it a bit like so. It will be ground. Next game object is a cat. Set its order in layer to 3, so it's rendered in front of the background. Add a circle collider to D and rigid body to the components. I set gravity scale to 2, collision detection to continuous and set Z rotation as freezed. Assign our cat to cat layer. Next game object is a car. Assign it to car layer. Set order in layer to 2, so car is rendered in front of the background and behind the cat. Add rigid body to the component, set gravity scale to 2 and collision detection to continuous. Next, let's add a couple of circle colliders and edit them in the way, so they represent wheels. First one. And the second one. Ok, our car needs a door for cat to enter. Right click on car game object and create new empty one. Rename it as car door. Position it at the place where front door is supposed to be. The cat will appear right here, leaving the car. Next, add a box collider 2D to car door. Edit it a bit. Door needs a script to help to control cats and button behaviors. Here is this script. On trigger enter 2D method is invoked when cat enters doors collider. So, if entered game object is a cat, then game control cat near the car door variable is set to true. We will take a look at the game control script at the moment. And if cat leaves doors collider, then that variable is set to false. Add the script to door game object. Now let's create a button to control our project. First, I create a canvas and set its scale mode to scale with screen size. Now right click on canvas and create new UI button. Drag and drop button sprite into source image slot, modify button's width and height. Anchor it at the left bottom holding Alt plus Shift keys. Modify button's text, change its font family by dragging and dropping chunk 5 font into font slot. Set font size. Now duplicate this button twice. Rename first one as left button. Second one as right button. And last button will be car button. Double click one of the button to focus the canvas and position buttons in proper way. Modify their text fields correspondingly. Ok, now let's create new empty game object and rename it as game control. Reset it. It will be just empty one with game control script attached. Here is this script. Script uses cross-platform input library. Here we have reference to car, cat and car button game objects. Reference to car door transform component. References to cat and car rigid bodies. A couple of boolean variables to hold some logic. And direction x and move speed variables to move the cat and the car. In start method we get cats and cars rigid bodies and disable car button. In update method we check if in car is true, then move speed is set to 10. And if it falls, then move speed is set to 5. So car's move speed is twice faster. Then if cat near the car is true, or in car is true, then car button is set to active state and it becomes interactable. 
If even one of those variables is false, then car button is inactive. Last line of code in update method reads if left or right button is pressed and assign that value to direction x variable multiplied by move speed. In fixed update method we pass a velocity to corresponding rigid body component according to in car variable's value. Enter exit car method is responsible for getting the cat in the car and for getting it out. So, if in car is false when this method is invoked, then cat game object is set to inactive state and it seems like cat enters the car. And if in car is true, then cat game object is set to active state and position of car door is passed to it. So it seems like cat exits the car. Last line of code gives in car variable an opposite value. That's the script. Drag and drop it into game control game object. Select game control and drag and drop corresponding game objects into their slots of game control script. Cat to cat, car to car, car button to car button, and car door to car door. I forgot to change some values for car door object. Select it and assign it to default layer. Otherwise, no collision will be detected between door and car. Also, is trigger option should be checked for doors collider. Now we need to tune buttons a bit. Select left button and add new component to it. It will be Axis Touch button script from cross platform input package we imported. Here, as its left button, we should modify axis value as negative one and set response and return to center speed values to higher ones. Same for right button, but axis value will be positive one. Car button needs another tweak. Add new onclick function, drag and drop game control into object slot, and select enter exit car method from game control script. That's it, now we can create a build and see how it works. The cat can walk around and if it approaches the car's door, then car button appears and cat can get in, drive around and exit the car at any moment. Hope you like this tutorial, thank you for watching, see you next time.